power platform is to use Planet a lot with your team. Maybe you move tasks from a backlog to doing to complete. Do you notice that over time your planet is getting really slow or do you want to archive those done tasks so they don't clutter up the view? Maybe you've got repetitive tasks that you complete but they just build up in this done column to a point where it's kind of a mess and search takes ages to find anything. If this is you then watch this video and I'll show you how using a great tool called Power Automate you can set up a simple archive or delete policy for old tasks and clean and speed up the planner board for the whole team. Say I've got a whole bunch of tasks that me and the team work on, I pick some to do and then what we do is we move them to a done column or a done bucket before we actually close them down and complete them. And the reason we do this is because we want to reflect on the work that's been completed that previous day before making it largely invisible by pressing complete. What happens when this complete list here gets really, really big? What we've observed is that planner starts to slow down. So I've got a solution for these complete tasks to tidy them up when it makes sense to you, perhaps weekly or monthly or on a set schedule. Let's swap to Power Automate. This tool allows us to set up workflows to remove repetitive tasks from our own job list. So for example, instead of deleting each individual item, I can now have Power Automate go through based on a rule and delete them for me. So I run this task every single week on a Wednesday, you can set that up and this is called the trigger. Then I perform the actions. First of all, I get all my tasks from planner. I then look at the percent complete. If a task is 100% complete, I'll first of all figure out what the current time is and set up a benchmark after which I can remove those items. So for here, it's one day prior to the current time. And then just go through that list and I say for every item you find that's been completed and has a completed date which is less than or equal to yesterday, which is what that expression there means, I delete it and I use the ID of the item from that filter array, from that list set that I got. It's as simple as that. Let's give it a test. We've got the lovely green ticks to show me that that workflow's run. And if I refresh my planner, all those completed tasks are clear. So I can set this up to run whenever I really want to and no longer worry about my board getting cluttered. Mm -hmm.